Hello everybody and welcome back to Tin Can. As always, I am Dor and today we're going to go ahead and hopefully make it longer than I think 13 minutes was our top time last episode. So first things first, I went ahead and did the tutorial so now I kind of have a better understanding of this thing here. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and disable our emergency lights. We are also going to go ahead and disable these ones, right? That's going to make everything dark. If we hit our tab button, we have a flashlight. If we re-enable that, we can either leave everything in a red glow like this, right? Or we can go ahead and leave the normal lights on. So we're going to go ahead and leave the normal lights on we're going to turn off the emergency ones and we're going to use the emergency lights as a little scrap box thing here right we're going to take whatever we need from this and go ahead and put it into the other machinery as they break or we're going to go ahead and put those things into this thing here that's going to go ahead and break them down so we can go ahead and repair the items as we need to so we're coming up on an asteroid field and i can't quite see them out the windows just yet so we should be hitting it eventually another thing that we don't really care about right we have the emergency lights right we don't care about that that we're gonna scrap the stuff that's in there we also don't really care about the gravity generation right we don't care if we're floating around there's so many of these little handhold things that we can grab around and move around the the area here that we shouldn't have to worry about gravity so if it comes down to it we're gonna scrap pieces of that thing as well for some spare parts here and there so here we go we're going through the asteroid thing now so everything should start breaking or something should break at least so we have to go ahead and worry about fixing that in the tutorial as well it tells you that this computer gives you the breakdown right of the error list so in the booklet it gives you the actual name of the thing so on the the display port here it'll be like battery bot broken or whatever and it'll show it in the book here as these guys here so it'll show low bar and it'll give you the error code next to it 01je as a low bar and so that's what that main computer is used for so if we actually have that thing go down Oh, we're getting jumped around here. If we actually have that thing go down, then we can actually use the booklet still on the other computers in the other little sections here to still figure out what is broken and what needs fixing. I think it was just because last episode, the computer itself broke, so we couldn't see what needed fixing. I don't think these computers would have told us what would need fixing over here. So I think we were kind of boned regardless on that section there, but we should kind of be able to make it a, a good, good ways into this thing today. The game also just got an update, so we can actually do a rescue game mode now, so we can actually try and survive long enough to get ex extracted from here but right now this is still just the normal game mode here i'm waiting for the asteroids to kind of chill out here so i can actually see what's broken and what what needs fixing this is new here so we have out of order for maintenance oh we got jumped around again we have let's see we'll fix it all for uh 5 p.m inspection okay and it looks like it's maybe missing a battery or something so we're gonna leave that alone for right now i'm gonna hold on to this again so we stop getting flung around the room here something is leaking so actually let's go ahead and fix that before we run into issues there anything else leaking i don't see anything else like it's leaking so we're gonna put this back and let's go ahead and go around our computers really quick and see if we got errors so that one was a bad monitor so that thing's going bad okay that's not bad because this one's as doing it as well but it's not doing it now Oh, there we go. We got another good hit in there. This guy is malfunctioning now, but I think that should be fine because I can't change the... There we go. I can, actually. So we have the pump, the power transformer, and the monitor are bad in this thing. So the pump on this guy needs to get out. And I think if we put it in here, it'll tell us if it's bad. Yeah, no need for repair. Okay, so maybe not the pump. The pump is probably not bad. It says the power transformer is... Oh, I, I forgot to turn the stuff off. Oops. Yep, that's on me. Uh, I think if that thing gets to the circle before we do, we die. And yep. All right. So let me go ahead and disable the lights just to go ahead and start off here. And I think we can turn this stuff off too. Actually, I don't see an on off button for the gravity. So maybe we can't disable that and scrap parts from it. We can go ahead and swap all of our stuff over to the error list right now just to see what's broken and what's not. So this one has a low pump flashing on it. So if we go here, I don't think we need the error code here, but we can go ahead and see what that's going to do. Low pump would be where's low pump at? So on page 20, here it tells us that the causes for that error code popping up are not enough power the dam the pump is damaged the bottle is empty or the filter is dirty so we can go ahead and open up that drawer and we can blow on this right and see if that's going to make it go away and no it didn't make it go away so we might need the power transformer swapped out the bat or the tank seems fine 
Yeah, I think the tanks are fine. So what we can do right now, since we're going through one of these, these asteroid fields again, we're going to shut that thing off. We're going to take the pump out of this. We're going to put it in this guy again to see if it needs repairing. And it does not need repairing. Okay, so let me grab that transformer then and see if that one needs repairing. That one doesn't need repairing either. So let's just see if we turn it back on and see if the error code goes away. It did indeed. Okay, so maybe we just had to turn it off and on again. Oh, it came right back. Never mind. But it is it is flashing, so I don't think it's actually broken broken just yet. So we're going to leave that be for right now. And actually what we can go ahead and do as well right now is go ahead and take the bottles out. So this one's the oxygen. So we can go ahead and take this one. It is almost out. It's close to the empty bottle here. So we take that out with the left click here. We can go ahead and right click this one and then left click that one back in so now we have a full bottle of air we can put that back in there and the same thing here with the co2 we can go ahead and grab that one because it's kind of almost empty and take that one and put that one in and then we can go ahead and put this one back into this if we didn't just get warped around like that let me go ahead and plop that there and did that fix the flashing thing it did not fix the flashing thing so i'm not too too sure about that one to be honest but we do have a leak going on here so let's go ahead and jump on that before it gets too out of hand here anything else i hear electrical like zappiness i don't see anything on fire or any electricity like zapping around so i'm gonna guess nothing's the matter with it i think we just got hit by a rock and that's what made that noise all right so we made it through that little asteroid belt thingy and let's see so this guy has a caution master on and i don't think there's anything i can interact with on that oh i can pull that out never mind so right off the bat i can see that the battery is red relatively low so let's turn that off and take the battery and put it into the charger over here and let that charge up we just drained all of our power there oops we don't really want to do that let me um let me see let me see do we have a battery in here we do have multiple charge batteries in here okay so let's go ahead and plop that into this and we can go ahead and close that we can take this battery out for right now and we could just store that we have three bars of battery in that so that's not the end of the world we are heading toward the ice nebula and our atomic Atomic pile is pile output is limited so I don't know how we go about increasing that or de decreasing that so that's something I've not messed with yet and let's see can we do anything with this we can take that off okay and what do we do with it I don't want to die again to be honest can we do anything to you I'm not too sure what we do with that so I'm gonna go ahead and put the shielding back on oops I didn't want to do that Let's take the shielding and put the shielding back on, please. There we go. I actually can't put the shielding back on. I don't know what's going on here. There we go. I finally got the shielding put back on. And now our power is off. I think we're in the ice thing right now. Yeah, that's what's going on. Okay, so let's turn this on. Oops, we turned it off. Oops. So that's going to go ahead and kick on. And how do I get you to get hotter? Because that's what we need to be. We need to be on the blue line, I believe. And we're not near it at all. So I'm not too sure how we get this going. So according to the computer here, it tells us that our main generator is offline. So I'm trying to trigger it to turn back on, but it's not really doing, unless I'm triggering it to turn off there. Let me, let me go ahead and turn our emergency lights on since we haven't scrapped anything from them just yet. So they should kind of work and that's fine. Is this thing turning on now? It still says it's offline. Is it getting hotter at least? No, it's completely off now. Okay, that's not great. And now it moved a little bit. It moved one little line upward. So I think we just let that run and hopefully it gets... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Hopefully we just let it run and it gets hot again. And our gravity just turned off. So that's good. Can I go and grab that, that little lever over there? There we go. That can go ahead and go back up there. Is our emergency lights off now? I think they just shut off. So I Apparently our battery and our low bat is the error codes we're getting on that right now. So I think the battery is bad in our computer, I think is what's happening there. So let me go ahead and open the drawer. I need a handle right here somewhere so I can grab and pull myself closer. So we have one battery there. Okay, so let me grab one of these other handles, please. Let me grab you and let me pull myself out. I put the, the drawer in myself here. Let me grab that. Thank you. And so this one should have the battery in there. Let me turn the main computer off for a second. And this should be the battery. I don't see any lines on it. So I think it's completely drained. We need to grab that guy there. Oops. And let's go down. Just oh, I'm on the wrong little corner of the ship here. Let me go this way with it. And we should be able to go ahead and open up this guy. We are going to be running into air issues in a second if we're not quick enough with this. So that 
that. And let's go ahead and reach for a handle here if we are able to. There we go. We have alarms kicking in now because we are taking too long here. That should be that. We can go ahead and turn this back on. And now we have a different error code. We need to grab that guy there because that's going to tell us what's wrong with it. And actually, it's not going to tell me what's wrong with it because it's the 2NOA error code on battery one. And that is on page 26, but there is no page 26. It stops at 25 and I can't go past that. So I can't, uh, I can't see what's wrong with it. Actually, no, that's it right there on page 26. What page is this? Oh, that's 35. I can't see because that mouse wheel thing there. Okay, never mind. I'm dumb. So all it is telling me that the, the base here is partially on battery power. Okay, so our generator turned itself back on. Our, our stuff is back in operation here, so that's good. We have a dirty air filter, so let's go ahead and blow that clean. We need CO2. Let me go ahead and disable that. We should be good. This guy should be good too. Let me go ahead and clear the air filter on that guy. Uh, high CO2 in the atmosphere, I understand that because the thing was off for a little bit. How are we looking on our gauges here? We are not too, too great here. And I think the only thing we can do is this, just keep hitting the button to turn the alarm off because it's going to have to process through here before it, uh, before it sucks all the O2 out of the air here, or the CO2 at least. So we should be good here. We are back in the green. We are climbing on the pressure, so we need to stay around one on the pressure meter. And everything else here should be good. Our oxygen is looking good. I think this is given us the the overall rating of oxygen we need or that's the heat temperature for our uh, our generator up there so we should be good let me double check around the thing here and see if we just had a hole open up because we just got hit with something where's my book our books there our tanks are full here let me see if the tanks need swapping out again I don't know how fast these things go through no it's uh, it's almost there on oxygen the CO2 is about halfway as well. And I don't think we have a thing to fill that thing up. So that's, if that empties, we're just kind of messed up here. So we have a bad power transistor on that one, a low pump and a battery on that one as well. So we're gonna have to fix those in a second once this, this little storm is done with. So actually, since both of these tanks are full right now, we can actually disable this to not be pulling any power from our, our generator up there. And we might be able to go ahead and take a battery from this and put it into this to charge without running into too many issues here. Let me double check on that guy over there. Uh, our, our, our gravity turned off instantly. Our power draw is through the roof there. So let me actually take that off because that's not good. And we should be kind of okay. We're going to probably have to turn that back on eventually when we swap out the tanks here. Unless we forget to do that and then we're going to run into some real issues there. And I guess while the storm is going here, we can go ahead and open up the drawers and see what else is in these things because we didn't do that yet. There's nothing in that top one. We have a new on off switch in that one. We have, what do we have here? We have nothing in that drawer. How about that one? We got, what is that? A large power transformer. So that's good whenever that thing breaks. And we don't have anything else in that final drawer there. Okay, so that's good to know what we have and what we don't. But anyways, now we can go ahead and look at the error codes on these things and see what needs what. This needs a new switch. So let's go ahead and take this. And I didn't mean to turn the computer off there, but let's go ahead and plop that in there. We need to turn this guy back on. We need 20 repair points to go ahead and fix that but we have a switch in here. If I remember which one of these had it, this guy here had it. So we can go ahead and put that there. We can turn the computer back on. Oops, I turned it off. So now that's back on. I think we're going into a nebula thingy. It popped up on the screen for a second. I didn't quite catch it, but now we have that switch in there. That error should be off of that screen. We're good. That has no errors. This has a battery issue again, and this one has a bad power transistor. So we can go ahead and open this, turn this one off for a split second. Let me grab that power transistor. Oh, is this the right one? Is there another power transistor in this thing? I think so. Let me take that and just put it in here and see if it needs repairing. And we just got hit with electricity or something because now all of our power is uh, out. So that's that's terrible for us. Um, all of our oxygen is offline. What do we do now? Let me... Um, let me try and turn on and off our computer here and see if that kicks everything back on. That did nothing. Okay, that's not a good sign. And I'm kind of just floating around here. Uh, I need this thing here so I can grab over here. Let me go ahead and open up our generator and see if we can turn it on manually here. It's turning on, but we do have error codes. I don't know if we should be turning this on right now while we're in this cloud thing because we're probably going to kill ourselves. Uh, we have error codes, which we need our booklet to read. We have... 
one four and MPAA, so I gotta go look for those. So one of our error codes is a bad fuse, and I haven't found the other one just yet, but we are running out of oxygen very quickly here. I'm gonna try and turn on our emergency lights because I can't I can't run the flashlight forever. It just keeps turning off, so I need to go ahead and see if I can wiggle over here and get this thing turned on. We don't have any fuses right now. We can't run our repair thing, so I think we're just gonna die. I don't think we can make it out of this. So there's our emergency lights, so that's gonna come in handy at least and what was the other one it was one four right and let me see if I could find that really quickly. It probably would have been faster just to go back to the beginning of the book and find it that way. Uh, the one four is the bad electrical connector. So we don't have any of those and it's not letting me turn these things back on. Oh, it is letting me turn these things back on. Did I just kill myself for no reason? Could I have swapped these things on this whole time? Oh no, 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 I didn't realize that. I thought everything was shut off because of the electricity. No, 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 turn back on everything. Everything's on. Oh no, um, we need to turn that guy on as well if we're able to. And we're kind of floating across here. Let me turn that on. There we go. And the alarm stopped. The alarm stopped. Okay. Okay. Can we... Can we see here? We are completely out of breathability air. Our CO2 is through the roof. Our, our oxygenator here is pretty much broken on everything right now. That's not great. Hopefully we can pull out of this and get back into the green here. The CO2 meter is not moving. I don't think we're generating oxygen is the issue here. So I don't think those other two machines were actually even on, the CO2 scrubber and the atmospheric condensing thing, because the monitors were offline, the switches were green, so they could have been running, but they didn't seem to be doing anything. So I think everything just broke there by going through that lightning storm. Uh, that was the first time going through one of those, so that was cool, I didn't expect that. But anyways, I think that's gonna go ahead and be it for today's episode, so hope you guys enjoyed as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.